Hello. Hi, Johnny. It's Jason Curtis speaking. How are you? I'm good. How are you, man? Excellent. Sorry I couldn't uh, get down to you firsthand. Oh. Um, okay. Having a having a deadline day, you know, the okay, sure. jo joys of printing, but I doubt All want... the lines are dead. We know the feeling. <laughs> sure. That's because uh, I, I actually, I think the last time you were in Cape Town, um, I hooked up with you and uh, mm. up at uh, in Longstreet. Um, and that's right. That's right. But uh, are you well? Otherwise, I hear good things. I'm no, it's uh, very, very good. Everything's going very good. Yeah, it's, it's almost very well. I, I, I think it seemed, in some ways, that that you had you had your your pace had slowed a little in the last couple of years. Um, yes. But I think that's purely just from an outsider's point of view. I'm sure you you feel as uh, as, as as busy as ever. But it, no, no, I'm I'm uh, I'm thundering at the moment. I'm huge. Uh, huge, uh, what you might call parallel universes running together, Right. Uh, you know, um, touring, uh, writing, I've got uh, a documentary I'm doing, uh, I've got a little, uh, you know, three, three, four years ago I invested in, a, in another environmental business which has uh, also taken a lot of my time. Right. And, uh, and it all happens, it all comes together at the same time. Internet, uh, internet site uh, in, in uh, March next year which we visit. Uh, putting together at the moment. Okay. So it's just uh, a crazy my, time. Yeah, <coughs> my father and my husband. You know. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. You got to do all the all the normal yeah. stuff as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and and this and now um, obviously you've um, your your base that you built over the last you know uh, two well three decades really um, wants you in in every part of the world that you've you know created that fan base it would seem so you you torn between places as well at the moment because sure. you've ju you've just come back from France and then you're going back yeah, I understand now we're going back again this is my sixth uh, trip this year my word yeah. and they still love you as much as they did you know uh, back in the day surely. Well, yeah, they, they, you know, we, we're getting all their kids now because they're much older. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you don't think yeah. of a god like that. Yeah, yeah, true. You got. Well, you would, would you classify them as second generation, or would you? Yes. I'd, yeah, I'd almost. Yeah, they would be. Yeah. Yes, I'm the second generation. True, true, true. But um, it certainly sounds like you're obviously with the, with the amount of stuff going on, you are clearly enjoying it as much as ever. Yes. Um, you know, it's also. Um, the, you know, when you're young, you have a, a, your your expectations are um, a, a balance or a mixture of of uh, what you think is possible mm. and what what is happening out there. Mm. And you never know how to you know. And as you get older, you realise that in fact, you know, it's it's much more simple than you thought. Yeah, uh, it gets a bit easier. Mm. Uh, your expectations are not as dramatic and mm. you're not um, as disappointed as you were when you were younger because you had these huge high hopes for what you were doing. Yes. And I think as, as, a, as an older musician mm. and as an older human being in the world, having, you know, I've been around for 30 years as a musician. Yeah, yeah. My first, my first hit single was in 1976. My word, can you forget that? Uh, that was, was a Friday. So, yeah. You know, it, that, it helped me to really uh, learn what to expect and mm. what to expect too much. And so I think it, uh, that, that has really um, given me more space to operate and to feel more comfortable and mm. not to be as frenetic and as paranoid as you can. Sure, but and and what's interesting to me is that you haven't become cynical. Well, I'm sure we we're all yeah. You know, the older we get, the more cynical we become. But knowing the business Correct. as well as you do, you have every reason to be a little more pessimistic, I suppose. Yeah, and yeah, I'm circumspective, and also um, being able to control more of my own life. Mm. And yeah, my own publishing company. Yeah, that's so been critical I, to you for a long time. Hey, you've been pushing for that. Yeah. Yeah, and I and, and doing my own. You know, having my own. You know, paying for my own record, owning the market, mm. licensing my product, yeah. uh, you know, doing all that stuff. So, yeah. You know, it just gives you more control, more confidence. Yes. Feel a little bit more. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's a bit more centered. Yes. You know, when you when you when you are in, in, you know flying in the wind, you don't need to give, the company's going to give you a video. Sure. The company going to the company going to give you a launch. The company going to. Uh, do they like you this week? Yeah, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, do they like you this week? Mm. Uh, all that stuff. Mm. You never mm. know. You always, as an artist, in the beginning, you always really 
substitute. You're on the back foot, yeah. Yeah, you, know, you know, and here I have much more control. Mm. Uh, also, it's not, you know, I don't have to worry about another band. True. You know, so I did this album on my own. Mm. Uh, you know, there's good and bad parts to that, obviously. Yes. Because yeah. Uh, you know, with the band, they take off the responsibility for yeah. crap. Yeah, true. Uh, and, and also, the, the, just the workload, mm. you know, it's, it's shared, but, you know, uh, instead of me having to play the piano with my two fingers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, you have a keyboard player who could not only play the piece, but offer up, you know, a hundred million variations of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of the band and you know, but get the artist royalty for it. And, mm. You know, you'd, you'd, you'd have, you'd have, you know, or a bass line. The bass player would say, do you like this? Do you like this? You know, what do you think of this? I feel it should be this. I'm a bass player. Yeah. I feel that, you know, the kick drum should shift this way. And you, you know, they, they shared it. They shared the responsibility of that whole production process with you. Which is big. So with the solo album, it's not like that. You yeah. Know, you, know, you have to do everything. The back stops with you. Yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I mean, with that, when it works, obviously, the, um, it must be hugely rewarding for you as a musician because, yes. as you say, you know, you you tinker with two fingers, and you, and you you prove to yourself that uh, not. I mean, it's not to prove that you, you you know that you could do without, but the fact that you you were able to. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. But now this this album definitely sounds like it's. Um, uh, a confirmation in, in 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 so many ways of 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 the 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 road that you've walked because um, I can remember decades ago your your message was a lot more I don't want to call it militant but obviously it was a lot more I mean you've always been uh, socially <laughs> yes <laughs> yes uh, but now it's it's almost like um, you're celebrating more than you are persecuting I suppose or finger yeah, pointing I, I, have, or I have I have five political songs on the album yes um, from Zimbabwe mm. which is a very very tough hard hitting song called The Revolution Will Eat Its Children okay which goes back to the French Revolution and the terror remember Rosemary yeah. yes yes yes, okay. yes, so yes, the, yes. The, 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 the French uh, coined the phrase uh La Révolution mangera ses enfants. Mm. And I used that in, in, you know, to, to write a song about them. Yes, yes. And it's the subtitled Anthem for Uncle Bob. Oh. So it's, it's quite a direct critique. And then there's a number, you know, this song about trans, transitional transformation, uh, how, how two different points of view in the same song. You've got a white chap, he's just an ordinary guy. Mm. He had to deal with choosing to give up what he knows for what he doesn't know. Mm. And the chorus is um, all, you know, the, all the historically disadvantaged who mm. have been waiting for 60 years for the change to happen. Sure. And they've been saying, Jesus Christ, we must have done something wrong because God's punishing us and yeah. this is not happening. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's just those two juxtapositions yeah. that I, I, I put down, you know, because that's what we're living through at the moment. True, and then you see uh, it. You know, um, I wrote uh, a French, well, I, didn't, I, I co-wrote with my manager a French song yes. um, called For Pavis and Eva, which means don't give up, don't put your arms down, don't relax. Yeah. Which is really about keeping vigilant, mm. politically vigilant, mm. especially with all the stuff going you know, I, I was very worried that three months ago when the government said that they were looking to uh, basically put a muzzle on the media. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. I see. I see. Yesterday or today, there's an article in the Business Day saying that they are very tanked at that. Yeah, it's funny that. Uh, no, no, but that's a very alarming moment. But it is. In fact, in fact, they said no. We're only putting it up for debate. But I just thought, you know, if you're going to debate it, why would you put it up for debate? In, you know, in, in, within the framework of the Constitution. Absolutely, that's the whole. You know, which guarantees all those freedoms. Correct. That flies in the uh, face of us. Mm. So that song, uh, you know, uh, uh, came out. Uh, and it's also a very interesting song because it's uh, English, French, and Zulu in one, in one, uh, three languages in one song. Right, right, right. And then uh, I wrote uh, an Afrikaans Zulu song, my first Afrikaans song. Right. Um, called His Own Track Water. Yeah. And uh, it's a love song, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, very, very uh, traditional, kind of traditional style of, of, of composition with the guitar and, yeah. and uh, traditional choir. What was the motivation to do that? Um, I, it was a French song. I thought, you know what? I, 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 French is not South African. Yeah, true. You know, if I want to sing in another language, let me try Afrikaans. Yeah. 
Uh, and uh, it also came up in a, in a, just a weird way. I, I, some neighbors who were doing a cottage uh, at my house. Yes. Um, they, uh, they were speaking in Zulu, and one guy just said, you know, so, you know, let's get back to work. Yeah. Um, you know, I put in and he's sondering water and he used Afrikaans. Like, that's amazing. It's amazing work he's speaking Afrikaans. Yeah. And it just hit me, you know. That they have spoken. You know, mm. it's, yeah, it's, you know, it's just mm. hip. Um, you know, and I would never have thought of seeing Afrikaans in the band. No, no, no. Yeah. So no, it's also, no. I think it's also quite a, a moment for me uh, having, having done that. And uh, it, you know, the album is a very. 17 songs. Mm. And, uh, it's a big one. Three entirely in Zulu. Mm. Every single, every single song is, you know, it's got a strong chorus, a Zulu chorus. Mm. Um, and I, I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's got a very, a very good, mature. Took me 16 months to complete. Okay. And where did you record? In Johannesburg. Okay. Eleven studios. So right. Yes. 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 And uh, anybody on there that um, that we that uh, that we would know besides yourself? Well, <coughs> not really. Um, uh, probably Mandisa. Okay. My backing vocalist for twenty years. Yes. She's a big fat mama. Yes, yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah, she's going to steal your show. You realise that? Yeah. She's a pillar. She's a pillar. <laughs> no, because <laughs> no, I, I was at the Kirsten Bush show. Um, that was less than a year ago. I can't remember exactly when yeah, when you yeah, did Kirsten yeah, Bush. That's right. It was fantastic. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I just remember thinking to myself, yeah, she, you know, you, you best watch out, you know, because yeah, no, she's gonna like keep you up to date. But um, that is, I was just thinking, obviously, you know, with with thirty years in in the music industry, there's there's a lot that people do know about you, but um, there's probably a lot that people don't know about you um, as well. And um, um, I was wondering, if, off the top of your head, if there were two or three things that people wouldn't know about Johnny Clegg that maybe they would assume and assume incorrectly. Can you think of anything? Well, you know, there's a new young generation of journalists who know nothing about me. It's quite interesting. Mm. I was a teacher, a lecturer, a mm. for three years. You know, most it depends how old you are. Most mm. people, my generation, know everything about me, but the young, the youngsters know nothing. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, what would surprise people that are about you? Because I mean, as I say, knowing is. What surprises people often is that I'm, I have a uh, side of me that's an entrepreneur. I've got a, you know, I've been quite entrepreneurial in my life, uh, which has been a kind of an offshoot of just taking the bull by the horn. Uh, uh, you know, I have a business out in uh, electronic waste management. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, you know, I've been doing that for four years now. That's, it, that's so not music, eh? It's so not music, mm-hmm. and you know, so it's a it's it's a, it's an environmentally sort of uh, driven business. Mm-hmm. It gives me a good feeling, and uh, it's a it's a whole new area of of um, environmental uh, sustainability, okay. relating to all the, you know electronic high end electronics because. Uh, these often get dumped and they, they land up on a, you know, on a, on a, on a waste heap, uh, yeah. And all the, you know, all the toxic waste uh, is leeches off the printed circuit boards into the ground. Yeah, it's true. You know, and you have, uh, you know, we've, we've, these, these dumping sites all around Johannesburg. You know, yeah. You come across, I mean, like, I literally thousands of computers, old computers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you pick them up and you destroy them. No, 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 we don't. Uh, so they, they, they're on private property. He's a dumping site. He's an illegal dumping site. Okay, okay. You know, so it's just, you know, you see that you realize it, there's a problem. Mm. So we started a business uh, basically recycling uh, all of the stuff and um, doing it in a, you know, an environmentally compliant way. Mm. So that's t- something that people are quite surprised to hear. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And the fact that you, I mean, you have, I, I, I can remember certainly in the, over the last 15 years, you know, you, like you were saying earlier, that you own your own masters, that you, you know, I mean, you started your own record yes. company, um, yeah. you know, stuff like no, no, that. Sure. Yes. You know, you know I, I was always aware of the, of the, the power relationships in the music industry related yes. to, you know, the people with money and the people who, who are artists. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, you know, it was always a, 
an issue over that. Yeah. Uh, the fight over royalties and the fight over counting and the, you know, all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, the usual stuff. And, and I just wanted to get away from it because the only way I could do that was to take control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, for you, having, you know, being as vocal as you are, what, what gives you hope, I suppose, is the word? Um, Moving forward, if you look at look into 2007, what what excites you about about being Johnny Clegg in South Africa, circa 2006-2007? Well, I, I've got a lot of projects I'm doing. Uh, you know, obviously I've got I, I, I type I, I, I chip away at a, at a yeah. Yes. Uh, I have a, a documentary that I started six years ago, which I'm still busy finishing. Yeah. Uh, called The Last Dance of a White Zulu, which is a kind of a tongue-in-cheek working title. Okay. Um, but it's really going to, it's about Zulu masculinity and issues of anthropology, which I still, you know, very, I'm very interested in. Yes, yes, because you study. Uh, I still dance on the weekends at the hostels. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I think really it, it's, it's for me um, a matter of continuity, just keeping mm. things going. Mm. Um my kid is uh, finishing the trick now and he's going to go off into the big, big mm -hmm. world. Um, uh, you know, also, I'm, you know, I'm watching other other things in my uh, my spiritual, or what you might call my personal development. Yeah. I'm interested in a lot of it, different uh, developments in the world. I'm, I'm fascinated by all forms of extremism and mm. fundamentalism mm. as human behavior, and that, it, and that somehow it's, it's been triggered, you know, by uh, globalization and been triggered yes. by uh, a whole lot of issues, mm. Um, mm. and triggered also by the, you know, the information age. Yeah, and very much. Information is, you know, is, is accessible and, you know, so uh, I'm interested in genetics. A lot of things mm. I'm looking up on at the moment. So I think it, uh, my, uh, what the world holds or holds for me really is a, the possibility that I can uh, get to understand more True. Uh, than less of, of, of what motivates uh, a lot of the, the things that are going on at the moment. I'm very fascinated by that and it sustains me. I'm completely nourished by uh, books and stuff that I read mm, uh, mm. You know, on this. It's an exciting time. Generally, but a busy time too. But uh, as I say, that certainly, you know, I think when you would, when you look back over the last thirty years and 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 you look at the new album as being uh, the next step, there's clearly many steps still to take. Which I, that's yeah. the thing I celebrate the most is that um, you know there was a time when I thought, okay, well, if you did, if you did stop doing it, and if you decided to, you know. Uh, take up gardening full time you know yeah. <laughs> that no one would, no, would no, begrudge you that no one would begrudge you no, that no. well uh, my, my management has just booked the the, the um, Albert Hall oh fantastic will be in London next year to oh my word that will be lovely huh? and, uh, you know there's, not, there's, lots of, there's still lots of life left in the old horse <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, that's good to hear, and I think your fans are, are, are grateful for the fact that you are as interested in life as you as you say, because I think it serves us all at the end of the day. But uh, thank you so much, Johnny. I appreciate okay, your time. Cool. Um, Thanks. I'm going to be chatting to your management as well, because um, okay. um, we're hoping that you'll be in the country in January, because we'd like to do yes. a shoot um, with okay. you. Um, and uh, But I'll, I'll chat to them about that and make sure that... Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to be down in the Cape anyway on holiday with my kids. I'm, I'm going to play for a while. Then right. Then to Swakopmund. Okay. Um, and then back down to the Cape. I think I've got a, a New Year's concert here in Cape Town. Okay. That's, that's good to know, because I'll... Cause We'll, okay. They're going to start talking to them now, so perhaps okay. I mean it would be a half day shoot, or not even a half day shoot, but uh, it'd be for, for for the cover um, of Jet Club, which would be um, okay. yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great vehicle because uh, we're printing 1.4 million copies, so it's getting to the right okay. people, you know. Very nice, That's so, very nice. But thank you for your time again. Cool. Man. And enjoy your weekend. And you too. Thank yeah. you so much. Cheers, Johnny. Okay. Bye bye. bye.